There you go, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah, Bill. Who else? Nick holds on a night, but dry rot. One too hard to get rid of. So I'll be gone soon. It'll be Pat and Frank's responsibility and good luck to all. Oh, let's move on. Slowly. I'm supposed to be looking at the pub in Isha to start on him, but down to Angela. Well, she tells me she's not well. What's wrong with her? Angie's got headache, Ben says. Got a headache? Mind you, I'd have headaches all to be sure. I don't think they want to move, do they? Don't seem over keen about it all. No, I'm right off the boil. Well, not so long about it, couldn't bleat and wait a No, especially Angie. I mean, look at Frank and Pat, all that planning, all the organising they're doing. They ain't leaving a stone unturned to get the lead. Tell you one thing about Ben and Angie, just when you think you know, bang, they switch directions. Well, I think when it falls down to it, they don't want to leave the square at all. Well, not luck. <laughs> Mum? Yeah? I've got something I want to say to you. Oh, look, don't stand there, love. I'm busy. Mum? What? Look, what would you say if I said I wanted to move out? I'd say we had all that before and it didn't amount to much. No, I suppose not. Why, is it on your mind again? Yeah. And where do you think you're going this time? I thought I'd move in with Barry. Barry? What the bloody hell's going on? Look, Dad, I've got to leave home sometime, haven't I? Yeah, right. There's no argument there, son. I mean, that's life. No life ends going to live with Barry. Son of mine live with a blinking teeth, but... It's straight. He ain't gay no more. Listen, boy. Once a nose picker, always a nose picker. I wouldn't trust Barry if I had eyes at the back of my head. Oh, well, that ain't fair, Pete. Barry's a decent lady, whichever way you look at it. Kath, it's the way Barry looks at that bothers me. You can't stop me, Dad. We'll see about you that. You can't. Look, we can't stop him if his mind's made up. What? And we wouldn't want to. Oh. We've been through this before, haven't we? And what happened? He came back with his tail between his legs. I'm older now. Yeah, and we can't depend on the past like that. Oh, I see. The same old story, innit? I object to something and you take his part. Nothing matters anymore, does it? As long as you two gang up on me. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, stupid, is it? But it don't feel stupid to me. What about your tea? I'm not hungry. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Mum. Oh, it's all right. I'll have a word with him in a minute. Still going through with it. That's all right, Ian. I do understand. There comes a time in life where you've got to do things for yourself. But there is one thing I want to say, though. Your exams. Oh, don't worry, Mum. I'll pass. It's 100% certain. I ain't kidding you. Look, I've just realised that if I pass this exam, it's never strength me bow, innit? Might not ever earn a living as a chef, but this is another qualification to have. Well, that's all very well, but I don't think you're going to have much time to study while you're seeing Donna. Oh, Mum, she don't get in the way. So you say. But I think she does. And I think it'd be better if you didn't see her anymore. Mum! Ian, look, you're a good lad. I know you'll work it out, all right? Meanwhile, I better go and talk your dad into eating his tea and letting you get on with your life. 